I am going to make a presentation on safety system and this topic will be on DNIJS to safe state. The video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe to the channel. Basics of SIS DNIJS state. What is DNIJS state in safety instrumented system? In safety instrumented system, DNIJS to safe loop known as file safe system. Alternately, this is known as DNIJS to trip. DNIJS to safe state means during plant normal condition, electrical current flows through the instrument loop. That is when the plants are in normal operating condition and then valves which is known as safety instrumented system valves that are isolating a process or an equipment or a vessel will be in open position using the solenoid valve. During any trip or shutdown happens due to hazardous conditions or manual shutdown, power to the loop will be disconnected and thereby loop gets deenergized. Example for deenergized to save in safety instrumented system applications is the final control element on a valve actuator wherein solenoid valve power will be removed and instrument air gets vented to the atmosphere. This is a generic example wherein for the safety instrumented system applications in industries there are many on off valves being used across the plant for different applications. The solenoid valve is the one which is controlling the air to open and close the valve. So, this will be discussed in detail in the following slides. What is the function of the cis solenoid valve? A DNIH to trip example of a solenoid with a manual reset is shown on the following slide with a commonly used symbol for a 3 by 2 NC solenoid. NC stands for normally closed. The right side of diagram shows an alternative 3 by 2 solenoid symbol commonly used with spool type solenoids. This is one type of solenoid which is being used commonly across the industries. Solenoid valves are among the most common components in safety systems. They are commonly used to vent instrument air so valve actuator moves the associated valve to a safe state. Most or relatively simple electromechanical devices with mature proven designs that can provide reliable services in safety instrumented system or safety interlock systems. Advances in technology have also brought more smart devices that can provide solenoid functionality but with enhanced testing and communication capability. Of late, the modern devices have come with a more inbuilt uh, intelligent features which can detect the solenoid operations and healthiness and any other internal failures on the solenoid as well as in the actuator on the pneumatic components. So, those, those are fitted with smart devices. So, we are going to see the detailed example what is briefed in the earlier slide. So, this is a SIS valve, safety instrumented system valve, it is an on-off valve. FC stands for fail close position. Whenever there is no air or no power, valve goes to the close position. So, which is mentioned over here. And the uh, valve is being operated through a SIS logic solver. We had seen about the logic solvers in the previous presentations, earlier presentations. So, this is the uh, one which is doing the action that is which is giving the electrical power output to the solenoid valve to open and close based on the conditions, based on the process conditions by detecting the uh, respective uh, area, respective area, respective vessels, pressure high or temperature high or flow high like that from the SIS sensors. The logic solver is doing the mathematical uh, computation inside and then sending an output through a, through the relevant output models in the uh, logic solver. 
So here in this case, uh, the uh, logic uh, solver output is going to the solenoid ball, and this is a three by two solenoid ball which was mentioned in the earlier slide. So the the main valve, which is uh, this part, is known as an actuator. So this actuator is being driven using the instrument air. Line shows the instrument air being sent into the actuator through the solenoid valve. So under normal operating conditions, when the valve, uh, when the solenoid power is energized during the plant normal condition, and the solenoid power is energized, the instrument air goes into the valve actuator body to keep it in open position. So whenever any process condition arises as a sort of condition causing the trip or moving the system to the safe state that time the sonar ball gets deenergized and then the instrument tire connector gets connected to the exhaust port that means the pressure inside the actuator body gets vented into the atmosphere and actuator loses its power to hold the valve in open position and by means of spring tension the valve goes to the closed position this is the general working principle of an pneumatically operated actuator valve so according to the process requirement according to the process uh, conditions this is logic solver will act and then cut the power to the solenoid valve making it to move to the deenergized position and uh, this is these positions are known as a spool pos uh, internally the spools will be um, connected based on this uh, this representation and on at one position the um, instrument air will directly go into the actuator body to keep it in open position and whenever the power is disconnected in the spool moves internally to the exhaust port thereby venting the entire instrument air from the actuator body to the atmosphere to make the valve to the close, close position. So this is the general operating principle of a uh, safety instrumented system anaphals. This is, this is applicable for all anaphals but widely used in the safety instrumented system applications. So DNGs to safe state, what are the advantages? The reason for DNHS to safe mode to be implemented in SIS to ensure that systems are in safer and healthy state. In previous slide case, by closing the main valve, when either one of the following condition occurs. So I told about this point earlier, whenever there is an unintended instrument cable disconnection, either pressure switch or solenoid valve, there are uh, pressure switches which is working as a sensor and the solenoid valve is the final control element output. So in any one of this, if there is a cable disconnection, thereby it loses the signal going to the logic solver and the output to the uh, solenoid valve will get dis, uh, disconnected. Uh, that means the power may be removed in case of any cable disconnection in any one of this one. So, so in those conditions to make the system the healthy, healthy state, the valve will move to the closed position. An electrical power wire cut. Similarly, there is any power connection going to the solenoid valve gets cut. The valve has to move to the safe position. And system module fault and doesn't supply power to the solenoid valve, to the field solenoid valve. If there is any Power, power going to the solenoid valve gets disconnected uh, due to the failure of the uh, output model. It is an electronic module. During that time also, the valve has to go to the safe position, which is a failed close position that we saw in an earlier example. Similarly, there is an instrument air failure due to compressor drip or any blocking in the instrument air line. In those conditions also, the valve has to move to the safe position to ensure that the plants are operating safely. These are the basic requirement for the deenergized to safe state. So, if it is an energized, if, if it requires an energized condition, 
when there is whenever there is any cable cut the power cannot reach the solenoid valve to do the action to keep the valve open so these are the basic advantages of the drainage to stay state thank you